Good morning, everybody. Despite the poor session on Wednesday, especially for the Russell 2000 stocks, overall stock market indexes had a nice intraday reversal off the lows. Pretty decent, strong close to end the day. And even though we had quite a few 50%, 100% sells, as you can see on the new positions page, you can see that the majority of the sell signals were for profits and the ones that were for not we're not, we're for tiny losses, and that's the name of the game. That's the game I'm going to keep on playing. And that's why this evening, despite the weird market, we're still under an operational buy in neutral mode in all of my major market averages. There's not one under sell. So, what do I always say? A signal is a signal is a signal. And on that end, I have four new long positions of quality and one ad signal of quality. Did any of them register in tons of different scans and have such amazing chart patterns that we're putting that I'm putting 5, 10, 20% of my capital in them? No, it's all measured positions. But don't forget, I place a large initial amount of capital anyways relative to my commission costs. So even though I have four new long positions in the ad signal, I'm going to be placing a total of right around $20,000 into all of these positions. What is it going to cost me in commissions? five dollars now some people pay that per trade if you're undercapitalized you're going to have to make concessions you're going to have to figure out which signal you like the best pick that signal if you pay five dollar commissions then maybe you put your that twenty thousand dollars into that signal and if you have maybe a couple thousand dollars you put 500 into that signal but still you're gonna you can't obviously if you have a high commission cost and low capital overall eventually the commissions are going to kill and eat you. But for me, I have two choices. I can, out of these five signals, looking at all these right now, ISRG, AJRD, EVBG, HNH ad signal, and TYPE. I can either pick the best one, put all of my capital into that one, and pay $1 in commission, or I can take all five of those positions split my capital up into those five positions, pay a dollar each for the trade, and spend an extra four dollars to have more protection. And what do I mean by that? Well, how do I know that TYPE is going to be the winner? How do I know that H&H is going to be the winner? EVBG, AJRD, ISRG. Nobody and I can predict the future. It's impossible. Nobody can do it. I don't know which one of these stocks is going to run. I don't like any of them more than I like another one. So I'm not placing a large amount of capital into just one. Instead, I'll split my money up into all the positions. And since all of them have such low inherent risk, under 5% each of these trades, well under 5% most of them, I'm going to split my capital up, pay an extra $4 in commission, and then give myself a little bit more safety overall in case one works, four fail, or two work, and three fail, I'll at least have a position in the two or one that works. Knowing my luck right now, if I had to pick one stock, maybe I'd pick ISRG. What would happen? AJRD, EVBG, H&H, TYPE go up, ISRG fails. I have no capital in all four winning positions, and I place all my capital in the one losing position. Since I am capitalized correctly to my commission cost structure, I'm taking all the trades. So this is what I'm doing on all of them. If you don't understand exactly what I mean when I speak about allocating your capital in a safe way, feel free to place a comment underneath the in the comment section underneath this video lesson on the website or on YouTube, and I'll explain what I mean. But the bottom line is I could put 20000 into one stock, ignore the other four, or I could split it up into them all. I don't know which one's going to work. I would hate to put it into the one stock that fails and watch the other four work. Instead, I'll split it up, and if any of these fail, cut my losses, wait for the next signal, or I'll hang out in cash until another signal does trigger, if none do trigger. So starting it off, ISRG. I want to get long here. This is a nice bounce. All of the patterns are the exact same you're going to see in all these stocks, so I'm going to cut to the chase. They're all candle over candle price bar patterns on heavier volume than the day before with BOP confirmation, except for ISRG. It does not have that BOP confirmation, but it's such a super high quality canceling stock and the number one stock in this group, CUTR, is so strong that, you know, it's just a gimme. ISRG, by the way, 
um, buy and hold does work sometimes. Let's say you got the low there. This thing is up 7,000% since the lows in 2001. Not too bad. So it's a high quality stock. But anyway, I'm going long. 2% of my account capital since it was in the cancelum scam. At 945.75, I will have one trailing stop right below 921. It hits 920.99, I'm out. But ISRG, like the bounce right off the 50 day moving average. Beautiful overall price pattern, tight price action. CUTR was the same way. And whenever it gave me the great signal, it faked me out once. Didn't take this signal here, it worked. Took this signal and it shook me out before working. So hopefully ISRG is a little bit more calm. AJRD. AJRD is an earnings winner. And because it's an aerospace defense stock, it's also a geopolitical catalyst trade currently with our brilliant commander-in-chief. And if you can't hear the sarcasm in that, God help you. But with the North Korea-United States geopolitical tension escalating and with AJRD being a recent earnings winner that's a go on two levels love the catalyst part of the trade love the earnings win so AJRD is extended so even though it was in my new 52 week high scan and my price volume bop surge scan it's only one percent since it's extended from its 20 day moving average and my limit is going to be at the close so I'm going long AJRD 2730 first cut loss 2616 Final cut loss, 2581. Clear cut. 2581 goes. I am out of AJRD. But if it keeps the green bop and resets up, I'll look to re-enter. But on this particular setup, 2581 fails. I'm out. AJRD. That's about the biggest risk one overall. I risk about 5% total at that one. All the others are under 5%. ISRG, by the way. If ISRG fails, going to risk about 2% just to let you know for a potential measured move if we just use this most recent move right here to these recent highs 20% to 2% risk that's a 10 to 1 reward risk ratio I'll take that any old day AJRD if we just use this move to here 30 to the 5% risk that's a 6 to 1 reward risk ratio everything is lined up there EVBG try to get long this thing here it worked initially but sadly rolled over below the 50-day moving average, had a nasty reaction following its earnings, but since then, it's held that low. It's gained green bop, and it had higher green bop again on Wednesday, and it's had above average volume since that low. A very bullish, like I said, candle over candle reversal pattern, closing near the high. So I want to get long EVBG, 2267. And with 2267, our risk is right there, 2180. It moves below 2180. I'm out. So I risk 3% for, let's just say, we can get a potential measured move similar to this recent green bot filled uptrend, 24%. Once again, we're looking at right around 10 to 1 reward risk ratio, taking it all the time. And TYPE, same similar situation. Candle over candle, heavier volume, BOP confirmation. Once again, the first cut loss. It's only about 1.5% away. The final cut loss, if all hell breaks loose, it's about 5% of the way. You combine that, you're looking at about a 4% move. This move from here to here is 25 to 1. So once again, we're looking at right around a 5 to 1 reward to risk ratio. That's the trade I'm looking for. So I want to take TYPE as a long, even though it only showed up in my tertiary scan and no other scan due to the lack of the volume surge and the stock not being of high quality, cancel them quality. But going long, TYPE, limit order, 1910. First cut loss, 1870. These lows right here. Final cut loss, 1790. But if this low goes on heavier volume or loses green bop, I'll be moving all or at least another half of my stops up before this final stop comes into play. And the best looking technical pattern of them all, H&H, &H, What's funny is that I actually got clipped out of a third today. I had a stop right below 31.85. It hit and went off at 31.80, dipped down to 31.75. Bullish reversal, beautiful pattern. Not only will I buy back that third of the position that I lost, but it's an ad signal. It was in my bop scan, green bop scan for 20 days, and it was in my tertiary scan. So normally it'd be 1% the account capital, but half it to 0.5%.
And that third that I lost is also 0.5%. So I'm basically putting a percent of my account capital into this one. Limit order 32, the close. First cut loss, 31.75. Final cut loss, the 50-day moving average. All right, everyone. Great luck on Thursday. Aloha.